About three years ago, Grandpa bought my son this John Deere tractor children's motorized riding toy. And although it's a toy, it's actually a pretty decent piece of equipment. It has a 12 volt lead acid battery, um, two DC electric motors, uh, two different speeds, and an accelerator pedal, which if you let off of it all the way, seems to short out the motors to function as a brake. Anyway, when I was assembling it, one thing that really bothered me is that these nifty looking light lenses didn't actually have anything behind them. They're just for looks. There's four lenses on the front and two lenses on the back. And although the back lenses had some reflective tape underneath to make them look shiny, they didn't actually light up. And I thought, wow, what a bummer. Lights that don't actually light up. So because I'm a bit of an electronics hobbyist, I decided to take matters into my own hands. I created a small controller board, um, which uses an Atmel Mega 328P microcontroller to control some LEDs. Now the uh, 328 is the same microcontroller that's used in Arduino, and as a matter of fact, my implementation is Arduino compatible, and I programmed it using the Arduino IDE. Now, what I did is I installed four white LEDs behind the front lenses along with some reflective tape to make things look shinier and more reflective and actually get more light out. If you look really closely you can see the LEDs. These are one watt white LEDs, quite bright. And the outer two lenses I also installed some orangish yellow LEDs to function as running lights and turn signals. On the back two lenses I installed high intensity red LEDs, also one watt, and these things are wickedly bright, especially at night. And um, they shine through these orangish red colored lenses. So let's talk about power usage for a second. One thing I didn't want to happen was for this light enhancement upgrade to run the battery dead when the toy is not being used. So I devised a special circuit that uh, turns off the microcontroller, actually disconnects it completely um, from the battery after a five minute timer has elapsed and uh, and nothing has been you know the toy hasn't been used and to reactivate it, it there's an external signal that's required and I made another small circuit board which we can't see right now it's installed underneath the driver's seat and it's wired to one of the rear electric motors when the motor is activated by the built-in accelerator pedal an electrical signal is sent uh, through some wires and activates the circuit that turns on the microcontroller and the t five minute timer begins. And as long as there's activity on the accelerator pedal, um, at least once every five minutes the lights will stay on. I also installed a four position rotary switch and uh, it needs a need to cut the shaft a little shorter, but here it is. And uh, this is to select different operating modes, uh, very much like what you would have in a car. So let's see how this works. Everything's off right now. There's no drain on the battery. But if I press the accelerator pedal and let off, you'll see those rear lights turn on. And that's uh, actually the brake light feature. Since there's no brake pedal, I decided people behind definitely didn't know when you're stopping, and so we need brake lights. What I do is I just look for um, when the motors are stopped, have stopped turning and then I turn on the brake lights for a few seconds. There are running lights, low beam headlights, high beam headlights. Let's take a look at those operations. Here's the running lights. These are actually quite a bit brighter and more intense looking in real life than they are on the camera. They're a, a very definite orangish yellow color, very much like what you'd have on a regular car. It doesn't look white in the middle. It's just because it's so bright. Camera sensor, I can't even focus on it, but it kind of looks a little bit blown out. That's the running lights. Here's the low beams. Two white LEDs in the center, running at a lower intensity. And the high beams. All four white LEDs running at full intensity, and this is really bright. At nighttime, it lights up the road very well. You can totally drive around. Who knows, this might even be DOT approved. 
But wait, there's more. We have turn signals. When the steering wheel is turned to the left, the left turn signal starts blinking. Also on the back. And when the steering wheel is turned to the right, right turn signal blinks. Also on the back. And of course this turn signal will work even if the running lights or the headlights are on. In case of running lights, it just goes between a low and a high intensity, just like a regular car. And with the headlights, same thing. How do I implement the turn signals? I wanted something reliable, so let's take a look at the bottom of this tractor. Underneath, I mounted a magnet on the steering rack. This magnet moves when you turn the steering wheel and there are two Hall effect sensors. It's kind of dark but they're uh, mounted on the other side of this plastic. When you turn the steering wheel one way, the magnet moves near the sensor and activates the turn signal. When you turn the steering wheel the other way, magnet moves to the other sensor and activates the other turn signal. And when you're driving relatively straight, the magnet's in the middle, far enough away from both centers that neither one of the turn signals are activated. This should also be relatively uh, weatherproof because there's no moving parts and the little Hall effect sensors and their wiring are encapsulated in some hot glue to protect them from moisture and dirt. But since we have a microcontroller, why stop there? I implemented some more advanced lighting modes for special cases. Let's take a look at those. Now normally this position is off, running lights, low beams, high beams. But if we go to off and back on rapidly, actually it's from on, off, on, off. We enter one of the special modes. Now this is the hazard lights mode, very much like you'd have on a car, indicating a hazard condition. And we also have another advanced mode. Emergency vehicle responder mode. These modes are implemented on top of the regular light functions. So they continue to operate even if we turn on the running lights, the low beams, or the high beams. And of course the brake signals and everything else still works. This should make the vehicle much more roadworthy. The uh, power supply for the microcontroller and the LEDs is all based on switching regulators. So it's very efficient and minimal draw on the battery. I'm not sure exactly how long these lights will run on a fully charged battery, but I have a strong suspicion it's probably four hours or more, maybe six hours, who knows. Definitely doesn't use near as much current as the electric motors do. And since we've got some nice regulators, the circuit continues to operate properly, even under the varying and harsh load of driving conditions with the electric motor switching off and on. Let's take a look under the hood. Under the hood, we have the circuit boards that I mounted the LEDs on. They've got some Ethernet wiring, which I just used because I had it laying around, lots of it. And um, those wires run to the microcontroller, which I mounted onto the front of the lead acid battery. I uh, created a little tray out of aluminum flashing and I submerged the entire microcontroller board in a, about a quarter inch thick layer of hot glue just to protect the board from the environment. The bottom side of the board has a lot of components, transistors, uh, little things like that that I wanted to protect. 
The microcontroller chip itself is in a socket, so it could be removed if necessary. And all the connections to the LEDs and sensors and switches are uh, through pin headers with the appropriate connectors. And I put a little bit of hot glue um, to hold those in place so they don't vibrate loose. Connection to the battery is through this little twisted red and black wire. And it's just uh, pigtailed here right into the uh, main battery connector that goes to the electric motors. So all in all, this project was a very, very successful project. I know my son was absolutely thrilled. He especially likes the emergency vehicle responder mode. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. It was a fun project. And um, all, until next time.